Hi, it's Philip. Uh, today we're going to talk about monocotyledon and decotyledon, and they're also they're different. So plants basically divided to flowering and non-flowering plants. The flowering plants are further divided into the decotyledon and monocotyledon. Uh, the decotyledon has two cotyledons in one seed. That's their main difference. Well, monocotyledon has one cotyledon in one seed. Yeah, of course. Well, the differences criteria between them is not just the seed, but also the leaf, fast blur, root, and their flower. So let's start from the seed again. The cotyledon has cotyledon means free leaf. The monocot has one cotyledon, while the dicot has two cotyledons. The the cotyl the free leaf means here the first leaves that will grow. The dicot has not like veins, while the monocot has parallel veins for the leaf structure as shown on the picture. The fascicular, which brings uh, parts uh, materials around the plants, the dicot is rain pattern, while the monocot is scattered around the stem. Next is their roots. The dicot has tap roots, which is one big root and scattered a little bit, while the monocot has river roots, widely spread uh, around the ground. The flower petal structure, dicot has four or five petals, while the monocots have multiple of three petals, uh, three, six, or, or, or more. The cotyledon examples are roses, peas, beans, lentils, peanuts, oak trees, daisies, cacti, more. The cotyledon examples are grasses, orchards, farm, palm tree, bamboo, banana, tulip, and garlic, also the leaves.